Hello, and thank you for your interest in our mobile WMS solution. My name is Alex Vescovi, and I am a channel sales manager here at Tasklet Factory in our U.S. Tampa, Florida office. I just quickly want to show you one other slide before we get started into the short demonstration. I'm going to give you guys a company profile at Tasklet Factory. Again, like I mentioned, we are a mobile WMS solution directly integrated into either NAV or Business Central. If you are looking at our solution for Business Central, we do work with on-prem and cloud versions. We have multiple customers running on both currently, and we, we are also on AppSource. So if you guys do go to Microsoft AppSource or its page, you can find us on there. This is our 11th year in business. We were founded in 2008 by our CEO and CTO, Peter List, who is still very involved with the company today. We have over 500 customers in over 30 countries, and we do have offices, like I mentioned, in the U.S. I sit in our Tampa, Florida office, and we are headquartered out of Aalborg, Denmark. That's a quick introduction to the Tasklet Factory, and I'll give you some follow-ups to do after the demo if you're still interested. But now I'd like to show you a, a few quick features with our solution. Just to quickly describe, I'm going to go over receive, pick, locate item, and bin content. So I'll start by showing you guys our receive feature. In the upper right hand corner there is a filter option. So if I click on that, there's a few different things I can filter on. Location of the warehouse, which is a drop down menu as such. Expected receive date, I'll keep that as today. PO number, so if the warehouse worker knows uh, the PO number, he or she can type that in and it will take them to the purchase order. And then the assigned user ID, I'll just apply this filter for now and these three POs pop up. One good thing with our solution is you don't have to actually click into any PO to then see what you need to receive. You can actually just start by scanning an item and then it will take you into that PO or detect which POs that item is on. So I'll start by scanning my first item. It detected it's only on one PO, the London Postmaster Purchase Order, and it automatically took me into that PO. The item I scanned to get me into this PO is highlighted blue there in the oranges, so I'll show you the process. You just scan the item in again once you're in the PO. So now I'm working on the item card here, and then you're just going to verify the quantity you're receiving. Again, this can be changed to one, five, whatever it needs to be. I'll just keep it as 10 for now and say all 10 are there. I'll hit the green check mark and now I've received those items. This is the process for the rest of the items. So for time's sake, I won't show you the rest of the other items there, but there is a posting process maybe which I can show on this next functionality that we have here in PIC. So now that I'm within PIC, again, you can filter in the upper right hand corner on location just for this one. So I'll keep that as white. One important thing to mention about PIC on the back end in NAV or Business Central, this is either affecting sales orders or transfer orders. So you can pick for either or. For transfer orders, it, basically what that is is transferring between different warehouse locations. Or if you want to transfer between a warehouse location and maybe your retail store, if you are a retail customer or you're in that industry. So I'll click into my PIC order here. We are utilizing it on sales orders for our demo environment. Again, I'll just start by scanning an item. And the next step here is scanning a bin. And again, another nice feature with our solution, it does have the expected bin there so the warehouse worker knows what bin is expected of them to be scanned. And then I'm just going to verify the quantity. Okay. I'll do a partial posting so you can see what that looks like. I'll go to the bottom right-hand corner menu option and hit post. I'll hit yes that I just want to post this one item. This was posted successfully. That information was sent off into NAV or Business Central. And this, I can come back to that later, or I can finish doing that pick order. So that's what a post would look like. So that's pick, scanning an item, scanning a bin, verifying the quantity. The other two quick features I want to show are locate item and bin content. So you simply just start by scanning in an item, and then it shows you yeah, what warehouse you're in, the bin that it's located in, and then the quantity. So if it's in, within multiple bins, it'll show all those different bins that this item is within. And then the next feature, bin content, scanning a bin. So this is kind of in reverse here. And then it gives you the item number, the item name, and the quantity. So if there's more than one item, all those items will pop up with those inventory counts. So a good managerial overview for your warehouse manager, possibly. That's it in terms of the short demo I wanted to show you guys today. I just want to give you guys some follow-up actions if you are interested in our solution. So suggested next steps. Here's our email address, sales at tasklipfactory.com. If you would like to see a full live virtual demo or find out about our pricing options and subscription and perpetual models, please feel free and we'd love to evaluate your warehouse process and be able to help you out. Again, my name is Alex Vescovi and thank you for your interest in our solution. Bye-bye.